the elevator ritual originated in Japan and Korea. It is said that doing this will take you to another world. To play the game, enter your chosen building and get into the elevator on the first floor alone. Do not proceed if anyone else is in the elevator with you. While in the elevator, go to the floors in the following order. 4th floor, 2nd floor, 6th floor, 2nd floor, 10th floor, and 5th floor. When you reach the 5th floor, a young woman may enter the elevator. Do not look at her. Do not speak to her. Press the button for the first floor. If the elevator begins ascending to the 10th floor, instead of descending to the first, you may proceed. If the elevator descends to the first floor, exit as soon as the doors open. Do not look back. Do not speak. If you reach the 10th floor, you may either choose to get off the elevator or stay on it. If you choose to get off, and if the woman enter the elevator on the 5th floor, she will ask you, where are you going? Do not answer her. Do not look at her. You will know whether you have arrived at the other world by one indication, and one indication only. The only person present in it is you. Again concerning the woman on the 5th floor, do not speak to her. Do not look at her. The woman in there is not human. If you do, she may decide to keep you for her own. Kuchisika Ona, also known as the Slit Mouth Woman, is a Japanese urban legend about a disfigured Japanese woman who brandishes a large scissors and preys on children. She has an enormous slit mouth which extends from ear to ear in a horrible permanent smile. The woman walks the street of Japan wearing surgical gloves and hunting for children. If you cross her path, she will stop and ask you a question. Am I beautiful? Before you can answer, she will tear off her mask, revealing a hideously deformed face. Her huge mouth is sliced from ear to ear and gapes revealing rows of sharp teeth and big red, disgusting tongue twisting and twirling inside. Am I beautiful now? She will scream. Now if you answer no, she will pull out a huge pair of scissors and will kill you immediately, chopping off your head. If you say yes, she will take her scissor and will slice your mouth from ear to ear, making you look like her. If you try to run away, she will hunt you down and kill you, slicing you in two. Legend says there's an escape. If you say you look average or you look normal, she will be confused giving you just enough time to run away. The Bat Game or The Rumasan is a paranormal ghost game that originated in Japan. The game involves summoning a ghost that will follow you all day. The objective of the game is to evade the ghost and prevent it from catching you. To start, begin at night, just before you go to bed. Shed your clothing and enter the bathroom. Fill the bathtub with water and turn off the lights. Climb into the tub and sit down facing the faucet and taps. Close your eyes and begin washing your hair. As you wash your hair, repeat the words, the Ruma sun fell down. The Ruma sun fell down. Do not stop repeating them until you have finished washing your hair. Do not open your eyes. If you have performed this action correctly, you will gain a mental image of a Japanese woman standing in the bathtub. She will sleep and fall, landing face first on a rusty tap and gouging her right eye out. Should you hear any noise behind you, or feel any movement in the tub, do not turn around and do not open your eyes. Ask aloud, why did you fall in the bathtub? Allow the question to hang in the air, then keep your eyes shut, carefully stand up and get out of the tub. Do not trip and fall yourself, and do not drain the tub. Exit the bathroom, shutting the door behind you. You may now open your eyes. Leave the bathroom as you left it. Do not turn on any lights. Go to sleep. 
The next morning, when you wake up, the game will begin. The ghost of the one-eyed woman will be following you. Whenever you turn to look, she will disappear. Throughout the day, when you glance over your right shoulder, you will occasionally catch a glimpse of her. She will get closer and closer as the day goes on. Do not allow her to catch you. If you glance over your shoulder and see that she is way too close, you should shout, Tomare, which means stop, then run away as quickly as possible. This will allow you to put some distance between yourself and the one-eyed woman. To end the game, you must catch a glimpse of the ghostly woman and shout, Kita, which means I cut you loose. Then hold out your hand in front of you and swing it down in a cutting motion. You should end the game before midnight. Otherwise, the one-eyed woman will appear in your dreams and follow you. The midnight game is an old pagan ritual used mainly as punishment for those who have broken the laws of the pagan religion in question. To play the game, you must exactly start at 12 a.m. when you begin performing the ritual. Otherwise, it will not work. You will need a candle, a piece of paper, a pen, matches or lighter, salt, a wooden door, and at least one drop of your own blood. Write your full name on the piece of paper. Put at least one drop of blood and allow it to soak into the paper. Turn off all the lights in the place you are doing this. Go to your wooden door and place the paper with your name on it in front of the door. Now, take out the candle and light it. Place it on top of the paper. Knock on the door 22 times. The hour must be 12 a.m. upon the final knock. Then open the door, blow out the candle, and close the door. You have just allowed the midnight man to enter your house. Immediately relight your candle. This is where the game begins. You must now lurk around your now completely dark house with the lit candle in your hand. Your goal is to avoid the midnight man at all costs until 3.33 a.m. Should your candle ever go out, that means the midnight man is near you. You must relight your candle in the next 10 seconds. If you are not successful in doing this, you must then immediately surround yourself with a circle of salt. If you are unsuccessful in both of your actions, the Midnight Man will create a hallucination of your greatest fear and rip out your organs one by one. You will feel it, but you will be unable to react. If you are successful in creating the circle of salt, you must remain in there until 3.33 a.m. If you are successful in relighting your candle, you may proceed with the game. You must continue to 3.33 a.m without being attacked by the Midnight Man or being trapped inside the Circle of Salt to win the Midnight Game. The Midnight Man will leave your house at 3.33 a.m. and you will be safe to proceed in the morning. In addition, indications that you are near the Midnight Man will include sudden drop in temperature, seeing a pure black humanoid figure through the darkness, and hearing very soft whispering coming from an indiscernible source. If you experience any of this, it is advised that you leave the area to avoid the Midnight Man. There are several precautions during the game. Do not turn on any of the lights on during the Midnight Game. Do not use a flashlight during the Midnight Game. Do not go to sleep during the Midnight Game. Do not attempt to use another person's blood on your name. Do not use a lighter as a substitute for candle. It will not work. And definitely, do not attempt to provoke the Midnight Man in any way. Even when the game is over, he will always be watching you. The One Man Hide and Seek, aka the One Man Tag, is a ritual for contacting the dead. In this ritual, you will summon a spirit by offering a doll instead of a human body. To start the ritual, first, you'll need a stuffed doll with limbs but not a human doll, as there's a huge chance the spirit will not leave it. If you have an animal doll with limbs, it can be used as well. Rice that will be used to stuff your doll, 
the rice is said to attract spirits. Something from your body, usually fingernails for the doll to represent you. This means that if you do something to the doll, the same thing will happen to yourself. Never use someone else's body parts. This results in the doll replacing that person instead and the game will not work correctly. A sharp edge object to anger the spirit in the doll by stabbing it. Be sure not to use a knife or scissors as the doll will possibly stab you with it after it finds you. So use a pencil or a needle instead. It is recommended to use a wooden toothpick. A red thread to sew up the hole you made in the doll. This later symbolizes blood vessels and acts as a restraint later in the game. Salt water or salt. This will be used later in the game to get rid of the spirit in the doll. A bathtub with water. If your home doesn't have one, a basin large enough to put the doll in the bathroom works too. A very safe hiding spot. If you have a room with statues and things related to your religion, it is recommended to make it as your hiding spot. To begin, give your stuffed doll a name. Cut the doll open and take all of its stuffing out. Put the rice in the doll as well as the part of your body. Sew the doll back again and wrap the remaining red string around the whole doll. This is important as it binds the spirit. Prepare the bathtub by filling it with water and then wait until 3 a.m. Remember to turn off all lights in the house, but leave only the television on as it will change depending on the location of the doll. Once it is 3 a.m., take the doll along with you to the bathroom and say you're the first tag three times. Then place the doll in the bathtub. Walk away to another room, but do not look back. You may see the spirit possessing the doll. If said spirit makes eye contact, or notices you looking at it, it may come after you. Count slowly from 1 to 10. After that, turn around and proceed back to the doll. Go close to the doll in the bathtub and say you found it, and then stab the doll with your weapon. After that, close your eyes and say the doll is it three times. Leave the object inside the doll, then pour some salt water in your mouth. Do not drink the salt water as it protects you from the spirit in the dog, and you will need the remaining salt water to end the ritual. Bring along the cup of salt water and go to your hiding place. It is recommended to keep your doors and windows unlocked in case you unexpectedly run into some trouble. It is recommended to have a cell phone on silent mode and brightness on the lowest level in case of emergencies. Keep the salt water in your mouth at all times. Never attempt to swallow. Remain silent when you are hiding as any sounds from you will alert the doll where you are. If the doll finds you, it will stab you with the object you stab it with, then possibly possess you as well. Keep salt water near at all times. Ending the ritual is very important as this will end the game as well. To end the ritual, get out of your hiding spot, find the doll, it may not be in the bedroom, and then drink the salt water. Pour the remaining salt water around the doll in a circle as well. Close your eyes and shout out, I win, three times. The spirit in the doll will give up and the game ends. You must dispose of the doll by burying it with salt. Otherwise, the spirit will attempt to re-enter the doll. Some versions say to put salt in every corner of your house after you bury the doll, especially where the doll has been found, as salt drives away most malevolent spirits.